16th of February, the South Carolina State Conference of the NAACP will have a rally at the State House for the community to come out and show its support for the students at South Carolina State University. Our number one emphasis is on the students. Um, their educational uh, welfare and their educational well-being. The, the rally will start at 12 o'clock on the uh, north grounds of the State House, and um, we will come together to show that the community, the state, does support South Carolina State University. Uh, they're not out here alone. Uh, we all can use more support, and we're hoping that we will get folks to understand that you should support the school all the time, not doing particular activities, but the school should be supported all the time. So um, we hope that people will make contributions to the school. You can call the school and they will tell you exactly where to send those contributions. The NAACP will not be collecting any contributions, but we can direct um, in, in individuals to do so. One of the unique things that we have going for us is that South Carolina is in Region 5. Region 5 is the largest region of the NAACP. And you say, well, why is that? Well, this is the slave region. This is where all of the plantations were. And the population at one time, uh, South Carolina had two-thirds of the population in South Carolina were people of color. And of course, we know why that's no longer the case, because of the mutilation, the lynchings, and the killings. Well, that attitude that took place then exists now today when it comes to respect certain things such as education. Isn't it ironic, as I said before you came here, that here we are talking about the closure of South Carolina State University, a 119-year-old institution. Grover Cleveland was president of the United States when South Carolina State University opened its doors. Fourteen presidents later, and we're still sitting here talking about funding. Something ain't right about that equation. Should it take 14 presidents for us to figure out how to be fair? just and equitable treatment of South Carolina State. Remember the education equity lawsuit, November 12th, the Supreme Court in South Carolina, the state Supreme Court said that these students are not being treated fair. And in an amazing, on a higher education level, we're now talking about the same thing. At some point, South Carolina is going to have to admit that there are problems. Let's come together as human beings, as decent, fair-minded people, and fix the problem. Now, you say, well, there are some things that are inside. I don't have anything to do with that, but I would urge the people who know that there are problems inside, fix those too. Well, what was your reaction to the, to the news this week that um, about the proviso to close the school, and then there, now there's another bill to go ahead and to um, well, uh, to, uh, to eliminate the board of trustees. That was like dropping a nuclear bomb on the school. Um, they they couldn't have they couldn't have done anything worse. That to me was a situation that before you throw that type of venomous language out, sit down and discuss that in private. And, um, you know, there's just a way that that was not handled at some of our other major universities in the state when matters of that nature come up, they're dealt with internally. Mm -hmm. I would like to see the same rule applied to South Carolina State University. Those issues that um, are challenging, let's deal with them internally first with the decision-making people as opposed to throwing them out in the public the manner in which it did. That was not in the best interest of the university because I've heard that there are recruiters from other states that are sending their recruiters to South Carolina State University now to try to grab the students. That's unfair to South Carolina. It's unfair to those students. Do you, you know, one of the things people are saying is that South Carolina State's been in such financial trouble for so long. They've been giving chance after chance that this was, in the minds of the people who sponsored it, the last resort. What would, I mean, do you think that they have, they have had enough chance well, to try to fix things there? No, I don't. Because every university has problems. There ain't a university on this earth. Some problems, the degree may be worse because of the historical, uh, let's just be real about this. This ain't new. 
when has South Carolina State ever been funded at a level equitable to the other institutions? We don't have a one black HBC, uh, one African American school here paid for by the taxpayers. One, um, some may write when you don't do equitable and fair and just treatment for all institutions. And um, I hope that the greater minds and fair thinking people will come together and say that we won't benefit at all this country or the state by doing what we initially proposed. Admit that they made a mistake and move forward with trying to find a fix. And believe me, there is a fix for this problem. I don't care what it is. I used the quotation before you came in by the Latin philosopher Cicero. While there is life, there's hope. There's a lot of hope at South Carolina State University.